Hey everybody at the Lexus Virtual Classroom, it's Melissa O'Connell, your Lexus Technology Specialist, and I am so excited to be here at Lexus headquarters with the all-new 2022 Lexus NX. These are prototype vehicles. Production models will be coming later. There's a lot of great first look content out there, but I was very fortunate to have more access to the vehicle and to some of the Lexus trainers at the Lexus College. We'll do a brief overview of everything that I had access to that I'm actually allowed to share. So stay tuned because when the 22 NX arrives at the dealership later this fall, I'll be able to do a full deep dive tutorial. This event was a small Lexus Inner Circle technology specialist training specific to introducing not only the NX, but launching the Lexus interface system. The 2022 NX receives some dynamic exterior style changes. The new Lexus GAK platform is at its core with increased head and leg room, additional storage space, and details like standard heated front seats and optional heated rear seats just to get us started. There are more color, trim level, and powertrain options than ever before. Let's check it out. There are 11 exterior colors. Some of course will be specific to our F-Sport models and with some great new additions like Grecian Water Blue and Redline replaces Matador Red Mica as the new red on the 22 NX. For more details about trim combinations, make sure to check out the brochure link in the description below. There's some really nice striking changes to the exterior of the vehicle. The name Lexus spelled out replaces the emblem at the rear of the vehicle with a slightly updated version of the Lexus font. There's a full width tail lamp that is a combination lamp. At night it's going to stay on all the time and of course functions as a brake lamp when applying the brakes. There's an additional L-shaped lamp near the rear fenders and they're separated a bit from the blade lamp. Gives it a really distinguishing characteristic and it makes it very identifiable on the road. There are now four new powertrains on the 2022 NX. You've probably seen a lot of the content that's already out there, so we won't spend a lot of time on this, but let's look at some key points for each powertrain version. The NX250 comes standard front-wheel drive with available all-wheel drive. It has a 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, and it does have the start-stop functionality. Looking down by the gear shift, you'll notice a new button configuration. You're also going to notice that there's no longer a touchpad with a map, home, or menu button. We'll get into that in just a moment. But just press the start stop off button to disable the engine start stop functionality. But keep in mind, it does reset with every key cycle. That means when you turn off the NX250 and turn it back on, you will need to press this button again if you want to disable the feature. The all gas NX350 has a new 2.4 liter turbo engine and comes in all-wheel drive only. The NX350 Hybrid has a combined 239 horsepower and will get an estimated 36 miles per gallon. All-wheel drive only with a rear-mounted motor generator to power the rear wheels. And first in the Lexus lineup of plug-in hybrid electric vehicles will be the NX 450H+. This vehicle is not going to come to our area initially Initially, unless someone has perhaps purchased out of state or special ordered. But Electrified Lexus is definitely coming our way and we'll continue to have training details as we get closer to having this vehicle on our showroom floor. F-Sport package will be available on the turbo and the plug-in hybrid electric powertrains. A dedicated F-Sport grille and front and rear bumpers are going to make a very bold impression. Fitted with 20-inch gloss black aluminum wheels, 
that are framed by color keyed over fenders to increase the sporty appearance. Up at the front, when you're looking to open the hood, make sure to note that with the new dual hood latch, it does still open at the center, but the whole lever pushes to the left to pop the hood open. With the updated optional kick sensor, all you have to do is kick and back. What's new is that initial tone letting you know that it's seen the kick. It's also faster action. So kick and back, get the beeps. The door is closed and you're all set. The optional power folding rear seats can even be controlled by voice command. Hey Lexus, fold down my back seats. We have two different handles. The front handle is going to give you access to a storage area where you can include your soft tonneau cover. The second handle allows the hard cover to accordion and slip into place. And this creates two separate storage areas. Now, depending on the model of the vehicle, you're going to have a different type of storage area, but they all do have this accordion style hard cover, giving you a secondary storage space right behind. So, our soft tonneau cover just folds like a book, and we saw how it's stored neatly away under the hard storage cover. You may want to open it inside, one side at a time. So, you can place the hook at the back on either side. And then notice it's just going to drop down. So you want to use the cable supports, hook them onto the tabs at the top on either side. To take it down, just do the opposite. Remove the tabs and take out each side. Flip it toward you so that the long tabs are closest to you because when you store it underneath, they're going to drop right in place. With the new e-latch, just put your hand in the handle, give a squeeze and open. If you need a manual override for any reason, there's a release just under the front of the door handle. Locking, just touch the indentation at the front of the door handle. To exit the vehicle with the new e-latch, push the handle in and then open the door. That might take a little getting used to. You'll notice there is a manual override. You can pull two times toward you. Using the new digital latch and the blind spot monitor sensors, the new Safe Exit Assist helps to look for passing vehicles and bicyclists before allowing a door to open. It's a very subtle beep, just yeah. a beep beep, and if you saw the indicator, it eliminated. You may also hear a message Watch for traffic. that says, watch for traffic. There are different alerts depending on whether the vehicle is still on or traffic. if it's been turned off. Once you turn the car off, the system is active for three minutes. For the next advancement in safety, the NX will feature the Lexus Safety System Plus 3.0. This system is going to include all of the standard Lexus Safety System Plus 2.5 features with some additional enhancements. Risk avoidance, emergency steering assist helps to support collision avoidance within your lane. It provides gentle braking and steering assist. We've seen a type of left turn oncoming vehicle detection with previous systems, but now braking support has been added. So if the driver is turning left and there is an oncoming vehicle approaching, there will be a warning as well as automatic braking. We've also had the right and left turn oncoming pedestrian detection, but now with the addition of braking support, it's an even more enhanced system. When turning either left or right in front of an oncoming pedestrian or cyclist, the driver will receive a warning and automatic braking will occur. The pre-collision system will now add oncoming vehicle detection. The driver will be alerted and emergency braking can engage to help mitigate frontal collisions. And dynamic radar cruise control will have an advancement with curve speed management. So it will help maintain your speed by aligning with the flow of traffic and reducing and managing speed on curves. The SOS button is located 
bed just behind the door. Just open the door and then push the bright red button in case of emergency. The NX is also going to be offering the optional digital rear view mirror. For more information on this feature, make sure to check out our Tech Tip Tuesday all about how the digital rear view mirror works. The 2022 NX will be the first in the Lexus lineup to have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Like you may have seen on some competitor vehicles, Lexus is introducing a really beautiful ambient lighting system. It's highly customizable. There are multiple themes that you can choose from, or you can customize your color, all with the touch of a button or even voice command. That's right, you can voice command for the lighting to be changed to any of the preset themes. Try saying things like, hey Lexus, set my lighting to bamboo. We're going to have an optional wireless charger that conveniently tucks away with just a gentle push. The term Lexus interface will replace Lexus in form. So Lexus interface is really our new umbrella for all of the connected technologies features. The other primary features are still Safety Connect, Service Connect, and we've now changed the name from Lexus Inform Remote to Remote Connect. The newest item, of course, is Drive Connect. Drive Connect will include the cloud-based navigation system, Destination Assist, and the Intelligent Assistant. The Lexus Assistant and the Lexus Intelligent Assistant are intended to be the primary way that you interact with your Lexus. The system is designed with dual microphones, enhanced noise cancellation, and seat detection and speaker location capabilities. The optional digital key makes it easy to share access to your NX with up to seven guests registered in your Lexus app profile. Make sure to note that the digital key requires equipment that must be installed at the factory. That means it's not something that you would be able to add later. The Lexus app will see the addition of vehicle climate adjustments. Finally, this is going to be such a great enhancement. There are also more controls in the remote connect features, so make sure to stay tuned for more information. Once a guest has downloaded the Lexus app, registered or signed in, and enrolled and set up their profile. If they're subscribing to the mapping services, you'll see the cloud-based maps load onto the screen. Navigation is no longer limited to the large screen format only. You can choose to have mapping on the standard 9.8 inch screen or the 14 inch screen. You can also add mapping even after the sale. Some packages will come with a trial, others will be available for a paid subscription. We're still going to see trials for Safety Connect, Service Connect, Remote Connect, and even Wi-Fi. We'll get more information about the time limits and the pricing for all of these features when we get closer to launch. There's not a menu button anymore. There's not a touchpad anymore. This is a voice first system. You can activate all kinds of things with your Lexus Assistant all by voice. You can also have a trial or subscription for the intelligent assistant. It's really incredible. Notice on the steering wheel, there is no voice command button. If you have the optional customizable heads up display, you can integrate a voice command button there and you will use the capacitive touch pads on the steering wheel to activate. Toggling and then selecting your talk button. It looks exactly the same, it's just a soft button. You can use a soft touch voice command button on the main screen. It's going to look like a magnifying glass when the vehicle is stopped and a microphone when the vehicle is in motion. But why push buttons when you can just say, hey Lexus, hi Lexus, hello Lexus or OK Lexus. You don't even have to wait for the beep. If you do pause, she'll give you a prompt. If you pause for too long, she'll even pop up some voice command hints right on the screen. Showing available commands. When you're on the Lexus system screens, you're going to see the new Lexus main menu on the left-hand side. You'll have a shortcut, 
for your connected device for either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, your soft button for returning to the native mapping system. So this would be a replacement for a map button in a previous model nav vehicle, an audio button, phone, vehicle settings, and additional settings. Many of these features can be launched and even controlled by voice command. Hey Lexus, what can I do for you? Turn on my cooled seat. Setting the driver's seat ventilator too high. This system is so smart, it actually knows which seat you're giving your command from. If you'd like to open Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, depending on your connected device, all you have to do is launch it by voice. Okay, Google. How's the weather today? In Plano today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 89 and a low of 75. Right now, it's 86 degrees and sunny. By the way, if you want to listen to the news while you drive, just say, hey Google, play the news. Notice that I was able to control the volume with the center dial below the main screen. You also have volume controls on the left side of the steering wheel. When you're in Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, the shortcut menu that we saw on the left-hand side for Lexus interface is going to disappear. Just go ahead and relaunch. Hey Lexus! Like to do. Get directions to Target in the Woodlands, Texas. I found 15 results near the Woodlands, Texas. The first is Starbucks at Target at 1100 Lake Woodlands Drive. Would you like to go to that one? Yes. Calculating route to Starbucks at Target. Proceed to the highlighted route. The enhanced navigation system that comes with the Drive Connect subscription offers cloud-based maps, Google points of interest. You can even easily tilt, zoom, and pan for optimal viewing right on screen. Day and night mode settings are easy to access and customize. The 2022 NX is going to be an incredible evolution, and not just for the NX model, but for Lexus connected technologies. Lexus interface sets a new bar for an intuitive, driver-focused luxury experience, and I can't wait for it to get here. Stay tuned for more details as we have them. Thanks so much for visiting us today at the Lexus Virtual Classroom, and we'll see you next time.